Through the core of Australia's red centre runs a train, the GAN. It's called this desolate country home since the 1920s, and its history is close to the hearts of Australians. Oh, I love the GAN. It is the way to travel through the rough middle of this vast land. Irene had the idea that this would be one of the best ways to see the outback, right up close and personal. And, and, and it is, it's great. It's like, like a legend, you know, it, it is a legend. The legendary GAN runs between Melbourne and Alice Springs. In a country of contrasts, it would be hard to find two more different spots on the map. Melbourne is the second largest city in Australia. It's a bustling place, complete with its own local trains and metropolitan flair. Alice Springs seems a world away. It's got the feel of an outpost in the middle of the outback, but there is something special about Alice. There's something about Alice that is, oh, I don't know. As soon as you come through that gap, there's a beauty about it. Many begin their journey a bit further north, deeper, closer to the equator. They come for the rock. If it wasn't for the rock, no one would go there. Right. That's the main attraction, of course. And you hear about it, but you actually have to see it to really appreciate it. And uh, it's huge. And it's something everybody should have the experience of, of seeing, I believe. Ayers Rock, or Uluru as it's known by its Aboriginal name, is the reason most people come to this area. In fact, there are so many visitors that what you might expect to be an awe-inspiring experience cloaked in natural silence is often filled instead with the clamor of restless, anxious tourists. But the experience is unforgettable and magnificent. Phenomenal. Oh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, when you see pictures of the rock, you know, it's it, it, okay, but when you get up close to it, that, that is awesome. I mean, and we, we went out to see the, the rock at sunrise so you could see the different colors, and it, it was awesome. And to see that sunset, just breathtaking. They say 40 greens, 40 shades of green in Ireland. Yeah. I saw ever bet that many shades of red at Ayers Rock. Fantastic. It is fitting that a train of legend is the preferred means to travel through this ancient, sacred land, a land that is, for the most part, virgin and unspoiled, something increasingly rare today. One of the things we were commenting on this afternoon was that if someone from America were allowed to come over here and start developing, the whole thing would be developed immediately and you'd be seeing uh, McDonald's and Burger King all, everywhere. And instead, it's just a vast, vacant land. It's amazing. A lack of restaurants out there does not mean a lack of dining opportunities in here. In fact, just the opposite. Oh, the food on the game's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, those guests travelling in our gold service section of the train, holding the Sunset Mill sitting reservations, could you kindly make your way to the restaurant as your dinner is now ready to be served? We had kangaroo <laughs> last night. It's wonderful. <laughs> and we had high hopes of seeing some kangaroos, and we actually did see some. Thank you.
Oh, the keeper said, I can assure you, it won't bite you. Isn't it, though? That is kangaroo, my friend. How are you? And that is a very, very tasty meal. So I guarantee, guarantee it. Kangaroo fillets marinated with macadamia oil and a native pepper leaf, which is found out in portion of native to Australia. That's one of the fillets there. You get one fillet per kangaroo. I know you don't have kangaroos in America, but if you ever come to Australia, try kangaroo is one of our best meats. Guaranteed. A ride on the GAN is more than just a trip from point A to point B. It is a combination of experiences. It's just been such an exciting adventure. It's, it's more than anything that I had expected to see. Going across the outback was very appealing because we thought we would see, you know, a very large area. And I've never found a nasty person yet. You know, with your cases and things like that, they'll always help you. The staff's always nice. I always am impressed uh, by the way people uh, come inside as total strangers and, and within an hour or two hours they, they look like, like it's a big family. And because of that, they all of a sudden get involved in all sorts of culture changes because it's normally uh, there's so many different uh, different sorts of, uh, of people from all sorts of places in the world. The GAN is an epic journey, one to think about, to save up for, and finally, to enjoy. You know, I've spoken to an older couple only today. They have, they have uh, thought of this trip for the last six years. And they, uh, and now they, they get here. They couldn't believe it, they couldn't believe it. Wow, you know, as if they are in, in heaven, you know, sort of thing. The next, the next good thing to happen. <laughs> and uh, the only thing is, I'm in a single room at the moment, and it's not meant for big ladies. Little ladies, yes, but not big ladies. There is always room on the GAN, room for everyone. And if it ever does get a bit snug inside, there is another world outside, as open and limitless as your imagination. The outback seems a place without bounds. The GAN is your point of entry. <laughs>